Hello and welcome to the Global Poker League and our new strategy segment where we ask our guest pro to uh, talk us through a hand in detail from the GPL. Um, joined by Mr. Jonathan Little of the Las Vegas Moneymakers. He's going to take us through a hand between Olivier Busquet and Marc Andre Ladisor, uh, representing the LA Sunset and the uh, Montreal Nationals, respectively. A uh, bit of a cooler hand uh, we see uh, in this particular segment. Uh, Jonathan, uh, what happens in this one? All right, so we are playing 300. 600 blinds. Both players have roughly their starting stack. Olivier Bousquet raises to 1600 with a hand like with Jack 10 offsuit. That's perfectly a standard raise. Marc Andre is going to decide to re raise with the 7 6 offsuit. And this may look very aggressive to some players, but this is actually a pretty nice hand to re raise with because it falls below the hands your opponent is going to be calling with. Notice here Olivier calls with Jack 10. He's going to be calling with a lot of big cards like King Queen, Ace 9. Uh, hands like that. So if you do make a pair or two pair, your opponent's not going to expect it too often. So flop comes 10-5-4. Great flop for really both players. Both players. Um, Marc Andre has a straight draw, <laughs> and that's certainly a spot where he wants to bet. Notice Marc Andre could also have aces and kings and queens and hands like that. So this is a spot where sometimes he's going to connect with this low board when he happens to be semi bluffing with a hand like 7-6 uh, offsuit, and then other times he's going to have aces that has Olivier in bad shape. Olivier has a pair. He's not folding. Top pair is a, a okay. good hand. So he's certainly going to stick around. It's important to realize that even though Marc Andre could have aces, he could still also have plenty of other hands that miss. So, pretty mandatory call for Olivier. Olivier looks happy. Look how happy he looks. He's like, oh yes, I'm winning the money this time. Trip tens for Olivier on the 10. So now Marc Andre is contemplating whether or not to bet again. And this is an interesting spot because. If Marc Andre had aces, I'm not sure if he would actually want to bet again because it's so easy for Olivier to have a 10. But at the same time, if Olivier does have a 10, you're paying him, right? You're not trying to fold because Olivier could have all the various draws. So perhaps it's just a mandatory bet. So you have to realize in heads up poker or a lot of forms of poker, if you are in a spot where you are never folding and you realize this and you don't think your opponent's going to bluff too often if you check, it's often best to bet because your opponent can call with some worse draws or worse made hands. So he does bet, and Olivier is pretty much always going to call here. There are a bunch of draws that Marc Andre could have, but whatever draw he has is going to have about 20% equity. Notice here that Marc Andre has 18% equity, and you can just let him draw. You're not, you're not too unhappy about this. You want to do everything in your power to induce bluffs. Like right here, if Marc Andre has ace six, Olivier really doesn't want him to fold that because he's drawing dead. Or if he has ace three, he really doesn't want him to fold that. But Yeah, disaster card for uh, <laughs> Biscay on the uh, river. Yeah, and, and at this point, Marc-Andre is certainly going to go for value. I don't think there's much merit in checking because Olivier could very easily have a 10 or even a hand like pocket jacks. Kind of interestingly, maybe Marc-Andre should check this, though, to try to get Olivier to bluff with all of his busted club draws. So notice that Marc-Andre has no clubs in his hand, so that makes it somewhat likely that Olivier actually does have a club draw. Um, also... Marc Andre could induce a bluff from a hand like Ace Three, although maybe that checks behind. I don't know. This is a w kind of an interesting spot because Olivier is always going to bet a ten on the river, right? So you're not really trying to get value from a ten. You don't care about that. We're trying to figure out how to get value from either a hand like Pocket Eights, and is Pocket Eights really calling on the river? I don't know. I, I think that's somewhat difficult on that river. Marc Andre did bet, Olivier called, and Marc Andre won a gigantic pot and that match. Yeah. Well, sometimes, uh, you know, guys, they just, they just have it. Um, <laughs> that's all for uh, this particular hand. Um, thank you to Jonathan Little. Uh, join us again next time. Adios. Connect with us on social media for league updates. And download our app, GPL TV, to stay on top of everything GPL.